Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Aquatico, which has just released into full release. Uh, very interestingly, this is a colony sim slash city builder game that is set underwater. Uh, let's jump into things right here. Uh, Potatopia. Uh, as ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. Hopefully, we'll be able to have a little bit of fun along the way. Uh, I am trying to find an appropriate potato-like... That kind of looks potato-y. I mean, I feel like that's a good emblem for Potato-topia. Uh, wasteland, Deep Passage, Blue Cold... Blue Cold... Blue Coldera? Sure, let's go, let's go jump in there. Population, Happy Days, Lettuce... Let us go. Now, I am going to skip forward this little cutscene right here, but let me appraise you of exactly what uh, the story is. It's not very interesting. Uh, things were very, very good on Earth until the asteroid hit. When the asteroid hit, everybody was forced underwater. That was That's basically the, the upshot of the story. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm skipping through that, but to be honest, I want to get to the gameplay. I don't want to start talking about how the game works and uh, how we are going to win. So, uh, we need to choose a location for our subsurface base. Um, it's not like we have the opportunity to choose a location for a surface base. Uh, there is <laughs> there is no opportunity to do that. Anyway, um, subsurface base established. Happy days. Welcome, Sea Mayor. That's me. Okay, um, a couple of things that we need to do. We need to build a gatherer's place to collect basic food. Uh, build a sponge to collect there to gather their sponge. Uh, build an oil platform and fuel refinery. Build a plastic factory. Yeah, we're going to try and do all of that. And we're going to try and do all of that uh, kind of right about now. But first, let's have a little brief chat about what's going on in the screen in front of us. Uh, we have got... Uh, our credits up in the top left. Not super critical, not at this moment in time, but it will be once we get uh, our population up and running. Uh, and then we've got basically got all of the different categories of... Uh of supplies. Uh, we've got food, critically, medicine, basic goods, luxury goods, batteries, sponges, and then I guess all of the industrial components over here. Uh, we have got all of our... These are uh, resources that can be carried in a pipeline, um, and that's kind of important. We'll see why in just a second. We've got residents, drones, influence points, and happiness over here. So far, so easy. We've obviously got our subsurface base. We've got a whole bunch of these little drones, and then we've got these humans that are walking around in these cool, you know, Subnautica-style, uh, like, spacesuit things. Anyway, um, there are different sort of things about the seafloor that we can pick up, and we're going to be doing that, but as I say, let's get, let's get what the, let's get, uh, the first buildings that we should probably get are the ones that the, the video game recommends that we get. The first one to get is the sponge collector, uh, which we're gonna go and do. Uh, we're also gonna get an oil platform. Now, there is... There is an oil deposit very, very nearby. I mean, um, you can see by the uh, by the ground color, uh, there's an oil sort of seam that goes right through here. So we're gonna take this opportunity and probably get probably get the oil platform right about there. That is cool. Uh, we'll get a fuel refinery in close proximity to the oil refinery for pretty obvious reasons. And as part of that, some of these resources are going to be set to set to pick up. Uh, and we will get a plastic factory as well, but we will wait a second to build that. We're also going to go into four times speed because, frankly, there is no point in faffing around. We want to get as much explored as we possibly can, and we're not going to do that in... Uh, we're not going to do that in one time speed. Anyway, uh, depending on what type of building, uh, depending on what type of building we've got, uh, some buildings will require people to work in it um, and others will not. Sponge plant requires a drone to work in it. Uh, we can automatically assign workers. There's no reason not to do this until we have, I guess, like an issue with uh, with workers. Uh, but for now, it's it's fine. We've got two idle workers, which means that our two people, um, that is it, that's all we've got. Our two people are not currently doing anything. Anyway, uh, we need to link up a whole bunch of buildings. Uh, we're going to very, very simply build a connection uh, between these two different buildings over here. The fuel refinery and the oil platform. Uh, fuel refinery, or the oil platform, should I say, produces crude oil. The fuel refinery accepts crude oil. Uh, there's a little bit of a disparity there, by the way. I would note that. Uh, and that is going to come back, not necessarily to haunt us, but it's going to be something that we're going to focus on a little bit later. Produce 120 crude oil here, and we only use 80. Now, you'll note, by the way, that each and every building, which I love in this game, can get expanded. It's going to cost uh, a bunch of different resources to, uh, to expand and, you know, upgrade. Uh, but each and every time we do this, 
we will be able to unlock new production and we'll be able to, you know, produce more efficiently. And hopefully we'll be able to get more crude oil out of this out of this oil platform and additionally we'll be able to produce more fuel out of the existing crude oil that we do get so you know hopefully we'll be able to increase the efficiency on uh on all levels workers are en route from hq love to see it that is excellent news uh that's a manta ray or a stingray or something that's passing us by uh i need to get a gatherer's place as well don't i i need to get a gatherer's place I mean, is there a specific place that a gatherer's place would be good for? I think, to be honest, keeping it in close proximity or close-ish proximity to the uh, to the subsea base is fine. Uh, New Atlantis HQ has sent people to assist us. We should put them to good use as soon as possible. I will absolutely accept people. Now, we don't actually have any accommodation for any of these people yet, but that's okay. Uh, what else can we get? A fisherman's hub will worry about that in a second. Uh, I did need to get a plastic factory. Yeah, I need to get a plastic factory kind of need to make sure that that's not in a terrible location. Let's put it over here in a plastics factory down there just so that we can get the basics. I mean, food really is a basic. Plastic is kind of a basic. Iron is a little bit of a basic, but nothing major. No houses for people. I know the gatherer's place. We should be we should be working on that right now. I mean, food should be positive. Food should be positive, but I guess we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start the process of, uh, of accommodating these people. Now, the way that this game works is that you have, uh, you have these domes, which are just super wacky. I'm going to build them a little bit sort of out of the way here. Uh, and actually going to collect a whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of iron as a consequence. That's quite nice. Uh, yeah, so we've got these domes, and um, people live up in these domes. They don't actually live downstairs on the seabed. They live up in the domes. Why on earth that is the case? I, I don't really know, to be honest. I'm not sure that there's a, you know, a cohesive narrative reason as to why. Um, but I'm delighted that we're going to have a nice dome set up. Uh, the other thing to note is that there can only actually be one pipeline connection into and out of, uh, and out of any one building. Uh, which means that we have to make weird sort of contraptions in order to connect the fuel refinery up to the plastic factory. You'll note, by the way, sponge and fuel is an input in the plastic factory. We produce 90 fuel, we consume 60 fuel, but we produce 80 plastic. The sponge, by the way, the sponge at the sponge collector, um, plant and harvest, I mean, I have absolutely no idea where we are in terms of sponge, but hopefully we're going to be able to we're going to be able to drive things forward. That's quartz over there. Uh, we got 74 sponge. Monthly produced is, is 63. Monthly used is 70. So we're not actually technically in a great place. Um, but we can boost the production if we want to spend 20 credits and 10 sponge and get a 20% production. I'll take that. You know what? I'll take that. That seems like a pretty good thing to do. Now, we've got this dome, uh, which we can't actually see. But if we press... Excellent. Some new drones. Fantastic. Great news. Um, yeah, if we press the tab button, then we can toggle between both of, uh, I guess, the different layers. Now, this is where things get kind of cool. In the dome, we've got a whole bunch of different options for what we build. Uh, and specifically, we can build houses, public buildings, restaurants, you know, everything to keep our beautification, everything to keep our, our people happy. Uh, we're going to start the process of building a couple of houses. I mean, nothing crazy. I mean, this is what, 10 credits, 10 plastic? Yeah, we can afford this. But uh, crucially, we don't have the infrastructure needed to get away with just having those houses in, in those domes. You know, they're going to get built, but, you know, people are going to start complaining uh, very, very quickly indeed. And this is where we need to think about research. Now, um, what am I looking for? I am looking for this one. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options here, which we'll sort of toggle through as, as we go. Uh, but for now, research is the most important thing uh, to bear in mind. Now, the way that research works, very, very simple, very, very basic. We spend credits. It takes a certain amount of time to research something, and it'll be researched. The title turbine, ion pause, look at that. We're in four times speed. Absolutely no time at all. Turtle turbine, tur turtle, turtle turbine, uh, tur title turbine, goodness gracious me, I don't know why I'm struggling to get that one out. Uh, very, very simply, uh, is going to allow us to produce electricity, oxygen generator. Also, very, very simply, it's going to allow us to produce oxygen. Yeah, look at this. As you can see, insufficient oxygen and insufficient fuel. We need to satisfy both of those requirements, and we shall do that uh, very, very soon indeed. Now, let's get, let's get a tidal turbine over here, and we will also, I mean, how much fuel do we actually need? I have no idea how much fuel we actually need. 21 fuel? Sure. Let's get 
let's get the pipeline. Again, we can't connect up another output over there for some obscene reason, but, I mean, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, let's bring this over here. Bring this all the way down here. Yeah, so word of advice, only if you're playing this game, you absolutely need to make sure that you always leave, like, at least one gap between any of the buildings so that you can squeeze a little bit of, a little bit of infrastructure between them. Uh, auction generator, I mean, why not build an auction generator down here? We might as well if... We might as well if this is going to be our dome area, we might as well sort of build all the oxygen production facilities around here, connect them to sort of one central pipeline. Uh, yeah, as I say, the central pipeline is is pretty important. Look at all this stuff that is flowing through this pipeline. This is quite a sophisticated, quite a sophisticated operation here. Anyway, uh, the pipeline, yeah, look at that. Plenty of oxygen. We've got it all. Plenty of fuel, plenty of oxygen. That is, that is marvelous. As you can see here, we are currently... We are currently floating above everything that we that we need. Uh, we're a little bit close to the ground on fuel. You know, balance is, is plus 8.4. We produce 90. Um, we have a requirement for 81 of those 90. Uh, but, you know, honestly, on the whole, that is, that is not too bad a position to be in, uh, which is great. And look at that. All of our houses are great. Our houses can store up to four people. And we're only, we're only, using, we're only using two. So, you know what? All things considered, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, we can reduce the fuel upkeep by insulating these houses if we wanted to do that, but I don't particularly want to do that. That, That is what it is. Anyway, uh, I think what we're going to do is we are going to collect some resources from the seabed floor, uh, which is kind of simple to do. Uh, that maybe was not the best idea. Uh, yeah, don't gather the... Don't gather the... Um, don't gather the, the sponge. The sponge is being... Excellent. I will take more people. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we don't really need to worry about the sponge. The sponge collector is just going to do what the sponge collector does, and that's going to be great. Pretty happy with that. Um, we're pretty much going to try and, like, bash through as much research as we possibly can. Uh, I'm going to get that, and then we'll try and maybe get the battery factory and the drone factory done as well. That's kind of the most important stuff that we could possibly do. And also, we're going to get some more houses to deal with. Uh, more people because it looks like uh, we can't accommodate any more. Uh, in fact, we might even need to get a fourth house, which may actually put a little bit of strain on our on our system. Yeah, no houses for people. We're still missing one house for one person. I guess people want to live as part of a family unit as opposed to just you know three adults living in a living in a house. Uh, HQ sending us material. Excellent. I'll take material. 146 plastic. That's great. No space in stock. Now, there is something that we can do to uh, change that around. It's public buildings. A depot. Provides some storage space for resources and enables carriers to do their job effectively. I will absolutely get a depot and ideally in close proximity to the base. I don't think that's uh, something that we can... don't think that's something that we can avoid getting. Look at that. We are negative in terms of fuel. So, this is where we need to make a decision. Do we want to get another fuel production facility? Probably not. Or do we just want to boost... Do we just want to boost the current place? Um, well, we need to get a production boost or an expansion. An expansion would be great. Efficiency is at 97%. Uh, yeah, so the issue is fuel we're getting... Yeah, we're not getting enough fuel. So we actually need to expand... We actually need to expand the fuel refinery rather than the plastic factory. But that's okay. Let's get a production boost here. 30% production boost, I think. That should be fine, yep. We still have plenty of crude oil, and as I say, that's what we do. That's what we need to constantly do. We need to constantly sort of keep our... Uh, click to open the stock panel. That's all great. Happy days. This is all looking... This is all looking marvelous, and we should have no capacity issues here. Let's go back in, and let's get the drone factory. Then we'll get the battery factory. We'll get it all sorted. It's going to take absolutely no time at all. And uh, that is all looking... That is all looking peachy as I do indeed like to say. Sponge collector is looking fine. I'm a little bit concerned about the food or the lack thereof. Um, so maybe let's go into production buildings. It's not production buildings, is it? It's food production buildings. There we go. And I am going to get a fisherman's hub. Now, a fisherman's hub, does it need to be near somewhere? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I think we'll just sort of put it over... I think we'll just put it over here. Now, the reason that I'm saying this is because I know for a fact that we're going to be able to get some bonuses based on proximity later down the line. 
But for now, let's just get it down and we'll, we'll get it sorted. Um, let's also take a little look at the jobs board, see exactly where we are. We've got nine idle drones at the moment out of 15. So that's okay. We can actually afford to perhaps like expand some of these places, uh, which adds an extra slot and makes it much more, much more efficient, makes it collect much more uh, materials. Uh, we are going to want to do that. Now, I'm going to want to get one of these drone factories down. I'm also going to get a battery factory down. Let's do it. Three more drones. I mean, literally, drones are free real estate as far as I'm concerned. It's great news for us. Now, drone factory is a big bit of kit. It's got a lot of upkeep, 120 credits, um, 60 plastic, electricity, and it's also got quite a lot of quite a large construction cost but to be honest I think we can I think we can make this work again there are some proximity bonuses that I would love to that I would love to tell you right now but I'm afraid I cannot recall them uh, from the last time that I played so you're just gonna have to trust me that there are some buildings that benefit from uh, proximity bonuses um, and the way that we do that I believe you know oil Imperium combo fuel refinery and proximity of oil platform uh, can we see if that is can we see if that is getting, if that is getting it? In fact, is it something that we need to enact in the base? Some of them you need to, some of these um, directives you need to activate in the base. Others you just get the bonuses. I don't think, I don't think it's close enough to actually get the bonus, unfortunately. But that is something that we need to bear in mind when placing our next fuel refinery. It's not necessarily a problem. It's just, it's just a consideration. Right, pipeline is missing electricity. That is fine. I mean, can we get a bonus here? We can get a bonus, but in all probability, what we're going to need to get very, very soon indeed is a new pipeline. Uh, a new turtle type. Tidal turbine. Goodness gracious me, potato. Spit it out. Uh, we're going to need to get one of these anyway, so we might as well connect that up into the system and get it producing before, you know, before too much hassle, which is grand. Right, but apart from, but apart from that, we're looking good. Battery factory we'll get in just a second. Uh, plastification combo. Plastic factory in proximity of drone factory. Uh, let's get the Sea Hunter's Lodge. That's fine. So the drone factory, very, very simple, is going to produce is gonna produce more drones. It's, it's going to give us as many drones as we want as long as we can keep it stocked. It's pretty much just that simple. Uh, we will also get... We've already got the oxygen generator. We don't have a battery factory. We don't have a battery factory. Let's get a battery factory over here. There we go. And we will start the process of getting the battery factory. Now, the way the batteries work, batteries are used for drones. And we have a supply of them. We've got 71 here. We've got a consumption, uh, a monthly consumption of 30. So we do need to kind of get this sorted before we run out of, uh, I guess, a backlog of, of batteries. Um, and this is probably going to put a lot of strain on our system. Yeah, electricity is going to be very, very strained. Uh, these tidal turbines are... I mean, they are okay. I don't think they're producing a tremendous amount of electricity for us, I gotta be honest. There we go. Okay. We get a, we get a few more of those and we should be, we should be fine. Low food in stock. Yeah, am I, am I producing here, fishermen? Yeah, we are. Production 140 per year. I mean, we're getting food. It's just not... It's not great. Uh, let's expand the gatherer's place. Let's expand that and let's get big baskets. Big baskets two. Big baskets three. Fully upgraded. Yeah, excellent. That's really, that's really, really good. Efficiency is at 160%. So I'm not anticipating that we're going to run out of food there. But if we do, it's not going to be for lack of trying. Let's get that in there. Let's get that in there. Let's get another production boost. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did spend a lot of resources on upgrading some very sort of select buildings, but I don't think that we can really complain. Um, sea Hunter's Lodge. I'm going to get the Sea Hunter's Lodge down. Yeah, Sea Hunter's Lodge in proximity of Fisherman's Hub gains 10% production bonus. You know what? Give me that, and then let's get the underwater field. Grants us the ability to build agricultural surfaces that produce seaweed and sea cucumbers. Now, I don't know if a sea cucumber tastes like a normal cucumber. In fact, no, tell a lie. I do know that a sea cucumber does not taste like a normal cucumber. Uh, but I'm gonna build I'm gonna build it nonetheless. Now, let's get that down and let's see let's see what that does for us. Okay, I think we should be fine. Right, so, Sea Hunter's Lodge in proximity of a Fisherman's Hub. Let's hope that this gives us a nice little bonus. 
Let us see. There we go. Uh, look at that. 10% production bonus literally for doing absolutely nothing. Missing connection to a pipeline. We need oxygen. That's a... That's a bit of a pain in the backside to get all the way down from, from here, but I guess we have to do it, right? Okay, let's try and do what looks to be the sensible thing and get it round the back. Get it round the back door. Production bonus. Uh, let's not worry about it any further. That's looking good. Right, let's go and work on this underwater field. Global improvement that increases production of raw seafood by 10%. I mean, that's pretty substantial. That's pretty substantial. I'm interested. I mean, we should be fine for food now. I, uh, you know, food variety might not be great. People might complain about the lack of food variety. But frankly, I mean, you're living underwater. You're living underwater. You know, come on. Just don't, don't complain. Don't complain too much. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think that we're going to have any food problems. I think we should be... I think we should be absolutely grand. Okay. Let's keep up the research. Clothes shop. Let's work on it. And let's also get one of those underwater fields down as well. Now, this is something that we can build a lot of. However, I'm going to need to turn on the grid first. Now, different, different colored areas are good for different things. We already talked about how uh, oil and gas is... Or is good on uh, orange. That's fine. Uh, I don't think we can build on this area. Yeah, that's not possible. But fertile ground is green. Fertility is 99% here. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a ways away from the base. But frankly, I don't think that that's altogether too poor. We'll see how this ends up working out. Uh, we got 52 plastic. I mean... Are we even coming close to... Production is 180 a year. I think we're going to expand the number of worker slots. Efficiency is low. That's put strain on our fuel refinery. Uh, you know what? Let's let's get ourselves another... Let's get ourselves another fuel refinery. Let's put it down in, in exact proximity to the oil there. Uh, Mary culture. Apparently that's the word for underwater agriculture. Let's get seaweed and then sea cucumber as well. So we'll kind of do it on rotation. Uh, our upkeep is going to be quite substantial, but I think we can just about cope. And if we can't, well, we will shut it down if we need to, and we'll deal with it. Uh, let's get the let's get the fuel refinery up and running. In the meantime, can we? No, we can't really do anything about the fact that we've got too much. Can we clear some resources off the off the seafloor? Thank you very much. That's more plastic over there. Yeah, I probably should just set a whole bunch of this to be collected. Iron, plastic. Some whales over there. That's cool. There we go. I mean, look. If we set this all up, then eventually it'll all be collected. I mean, there's no particular rush to do it. Is that a boat? That looks like a boat. Yeah. Right, so yeah, set this all up, collect it all, beautiful, and eventually we'll get there. Now, uh, no fuel refinery drone in, in range. Yeah, so this is going to be no oil rig drone in building. What? Why do we not have drones? Citizen is freezing. What? Yeah, I know Citizen is freezing. We're, we're trying here. Right, do we get a fuel bonus? Yeah, we got a 10% bonus there. Um, have I maybe set too many too many drones to go and do Are they are they have they decided to all go and collect resources from around the from around the, the base? Is that is that what they've decided to do? I didn't really I didn't really want them all to go and do that video game. I gotta be honest. I mean, you know, a couple would be would be fantastic, but maybe not maybe not all the drones. Maybe some of the the same drones. There we go. Okay, that seems to have got things back under control. Um, we are missing 40 oil, but that's actually kind of to be anticipated. And in fact, I think we're going to try and accommodate for that. Let's wait until we get a little bit more plastic in. I know we're a little bit low on the old crude here. 
Production boost. Would a 20% production boost actually get us over the top here? Let's give it a shot. Production boost 2. We need tools. That's a, that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame that we're not quite there. No houses for people and food variety is insufficient. That's okay. We, we, should, we should manage to fix that very, very soon indeed. Yeah, there should be no real issues with food variety sort of long term. I think... I think it should be... I think it should be fine. Oh, hold on. Leaking pipeline. There we go. Get that repaired. That's good. I don't think that really makes a difference to the fact that we don't have the crude oil that we need, but that's okay. Now, what are we going to need to build another uh, oil refinery? Another oil platform, which we're going to build right here. I didn't even check what we needed. 25 plastic and a few credits. Hey, I mean, look. That's great. I'll do it. I will absolutely do that. And we'll yoink that into there. Beautiful. And that should fix entirely our crude oil problems. Now, food variety and, in fact, the fact that we don't have enough housing. The housing is, is, is an easy one to fix. Even if it does end up putting a little bit of strain on our resources temporarily. Uh, that will be high priority. And that will be paused as the construction priority. Because I want to make sure that we're not wasting our... Precious, precious plastic. Are my drones still collecting? Yeah, I think they're collecting a lot of a lot of stuff. A couple of citizens are homeless. Why are you walking away to the, the furthest away things? Right, clearly there is not enough intelligence going around to realize that I don't actually want to collect all of these things. 400 plastic, that, uh, that, that actually helps out immeasurably. Right, stop collecting all of this. You know, leave, leave that on collection. That's fine. Okay. Finally, we've we've rectified the situation. I don't know what on earth happened there, but people people decided to be daft. Let's get the let's get that plastic together. That's good. We got a closed shop which we actually build in the dome, I believe. Subsurface base 2. Let's get the subsurface base 2 and then let's toggle up here and we will see if we can get a production building, a clothes shop. Uh, construction costs, plastic. I mean, look, let's get it, let's get it down. Let's see what it, let's see what it does for us. 60 plastic we can afford. Do, are we still have, do we still have issues? Uh, let's get a production boost for oxygen just to take us over the cap. Are we still low on, apparently, yeah, we're still low on housing. I mean, it's not a big deal to fix. Very, very easy to fix, in fact. But I'm happy to do it. Uh, subsurface base 2 is excellent. The upgraded center will provide 2,000 additional credits per year. Have a store capacity of 1,500. And increase our maximum influence points to 5. Very, very cool indeed. That is great. And we've already got the subsurface base 2. Which is marvelous. Uh, I have no idea if our income is actually measuring up against our outgoings. I think it is. Current income last month, last month. Yeah, I think it's positive. I think we're positive from what I can very, very roughly see. But don't take my word for it. Property tax allow us to apply residential property taxes that provide a weekly credit increase. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Taxes, heck yeah. I mean, you know, this isn't some Bioshock, like, you know, society where we don't have any, uh, where we don't have any taxes. We are, we are very, we're very much, you know, we're very much tax oriented down here. Are we? I don't know. I don't know if we are. Uh, also, batteries, we are not producing nearly enough batteries. I think we're going to expand this once. Yeah, and that may put a strain on stuff, but that's okay. 360 batteries per year. Uh, drone consumption is 24. Monthly production is, I think we should be fine, but I'm maybe going to get another boost just in case. And you know what? We'll get an optimization boost just to reduce upkeep. Uh, we need to get a tool factory. I don't think that I have the opportunity to build a tool factory yet, do I? Iron mine, tool factory? No, we don't. But we do need the tool factory. Where is it? Gathers prosperity combo. Didn't mean to click that, but it's fine. Uh, tool factory is somewhere. Iron Mine Tool Factory. It's right over there. That's fine. Okay. All right. We'll get there. No issues. We should be fine. We should be fine. How's our field looking? 99% efficiency? Don't know why that's... Oh, I'll tell you why it's 99% efficiency. It's because it's 99% fertility. Because we we travel onto a tiny little bit of... A tiny little bit of gray ground over here. And gray is ore-rich area. Which is apparently not fertile 
not fertile soil. Right, let's go and move up towards Tool Factory. Going to get a couple of really interesting things on the way there. Going to get Trade Port, crucially, and then into Iron Mine, into Tool Factory, which will put us in a really, really nice place. Probably going to need more oxygen plants at some point. Already talked about the need for batteries. Um, monthly production says that it's 12. I mean, that's not the case. 432 per year. I mean, that is... Just under 40, just under 40 per uh, per month, if I'm not mistaken. As long as we have the electricity and the plastic, which we do, we've got both of those. Monthly produced, monthly used. Yeah, we should have enough. We should have enough plastic coming in to make everything tick. I guess we'll see. Let's get this trade port. Um, houses. Do I want to upgrade any houses? I mean, I'm not particularly sure that I do. Maybe let's upgrade one just for the sake of doing it. It looks slightly different. It looks slightly improved. I mean, it's not... Whoops. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's not critical. Not mission critical by any stretch of the imagination. But it's fine. Um, you'll note, by the way, that some of the more advanced optimizations and advanced upgrades we need tools for. And we're kind of gated... Yep, I'll take more people. Uh, we're kind of gated behind tools for a little while. Uh, we will get a trade facility. Is that not in food production? Public buildings. It is indeed right over here. Let's get a trade port. And again, best practice dictates that we always leave uh, a one a one tile gap just in case. Do we have enough stone? Yeah, we got 520 stone. That's plenty. Uh, yeah, food variety. Look, we're not we're not in a great place in terms of food variety. I don't care. You know what? People can complain all they like about food variety, but you're living under the sea, and, um, you know, you're, you're eating different types of seafood. You know, at, at some point, surely seafood just stops tasting like seafood and just starts tasting like food. That maybe sounds like an insane thing to say, but I've got to imagine that it's the case. Anyway, that's looking good. Uh, we can actually start thinking about trade if we want to. I mean, we've got loads and loads of stone, and in fact, if we get ourselves... The tool factory, uh, we've got ourselves the iron mine already. I'm going to plonk down the iron mine in a, dro a drone rich area. A iron, an iron ore rich area, which is over here. There's no specific type of ore, there's just all ore. Um, we'll get it over there, which I think is enough, it's far enough out of the way that it's, that it's okay. Uh, what's the upkeep? The upkeep is fuel. Um, you know what that means? That means that we need to build a ridiculously long pipeline. There we go. A ridiculously long pipeline to help make things work. Um, start building beautification points inside your dome. Uh, I mean, do I have any beautification buildings? I don't think I do, do I? No, I really don't. I, I also don't really care about beauty. Decorative decorative things are, are not really my forte. The pipeline is leaking. Where's the pipeline leaking, please? We'll repair that. Thank you very much. My oxygen production was uh, depleted temporarily. But we seem to have fixed the problem uh, you know, for good, hopefully. Right, we'll get that built. We'll continue. We've got the tool factory, small statue. Sure, let's get a small statue. Tool factory in proximity of iron mine gains 10% production bonus. Well, I think I know exactly where we're going to be building our tool factory. Yeah. There we go. And I didn't even check what the upkeep was, but I presume it's fuel. Uh, it's, it is fuel. Yes, it is fuel. It's always fuel. Fuel is, uh, fuel is one of these things that we will constantly be going backwards and forwards to, to expand, you know, expanding fuel refineries, increasing, you know, production and all this sort of nonsense. But that's the appeal. Certainly that's the appeal from my perspective. It's the fact that you're constantly having to go back and revisit uh, a bunch of a bunch of different things that you've already built and improve upon them, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, now, I took the option to build a small statue, but I have absolutely no idea where the small statue uh, is actually going to be. I mean, is it... No, well, maybe it's a... small statue. In the domes. It is in the domes. Okay, I'll take the Steel World combo. It is in the domes. I thought it was in the domes. Research deco banner. Uh, small statue, but I want a small statue. 
Well, I have no idea how to build a small statue. Surely one of these is a small statue. Maybe I just don't have the resources for it yet. Anyway, it, look, it doesn't particularly matter. I don't care about the decoration. I don't, I don't. I really don't care about the decoration at all. The good news is, is that we're getting tool factory. Uh, we're getting the tool factory up and running, which is great. And in fact, if I have a little look at the jobs, we're actually fine in terms of jobs. Like, on the whole, uh, drones are slow uh, in being built, but they are super, super valuable. But they just take absolutely forever to build any of them. Which always kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, and to be honest, optimization optimization uh, bonuses here, I think, are probably well-placed. Because they'll help us make jo uh, drones for a heck of a lot cheaper. Not like it particularly matters, because it's more of the time frame, I guess, to, to make drones, which is... Ah, which is the, the frustration. But, hey-ho, look, everything is looking good. Uh, we've actually got... Plenty of clothes. We got plenty of. We got plenty of everything. We've actually got plenty of everything. Um, our tool factory is in a lovely, lovely place. Uh, we're getting a 10% production bonus for doing absolutely nothing other than being in close proximity to the iron mine. Uh, we are taking some of that iron and we are turning it into tools, and that is going to allow us to get some of the more advanced upgrades. Uh, set up now. Uh, trading port. We haven't really touched on trading. I mean, it doesn't particularly matter. Ooh, thank you very much. I would appreciate all those credits. Uh, we haven't really touched on trading. However, as long as we have credits, and I think for the most part we're getting credits, um, do I have the opportunity, yes, to levy this uh, profit, uh, this property tax? I will do that. I will do that. Credits per house. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of directives. We can only implement, uh, we can only implement five uh, in accordance with the number of influence points that we actually have, which I think is very, very cool. It's a nice limiting factor to not go too, too crazy. One credit per house, you know, We've got, what is that? One, two, three, four, you know, that many houses times that many months equals how much money we're going to levy from the property tax. Very, very cool indeed. So yeah, as I say, there are some bonuses. There's some bonuses that you get uh, drone contribution. Yeah, look, there's a whole bunch of different bits and bobs that we're able to implement. Some of them we're able to, some of them we get as bonuses. Some of them we get as transport fever and advanced mode of drone traffic regulation, causing them to be 10% faster. Why not? Uh, yeah, look, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I really love this. This is a massive, massive, massive research tech tree. All the way up to concert hall, subsurface base level 5, torpedo platform. I mean, goodness gracious me, there is a lot of stuff happening. Uh, Aquatico is it, it is, it is, it is where it's at. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on in Aquatico. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really pumped about this game, ladies and gents. I really, really am. I think it's, I think it's wonderful. I don't think it's overly challenging, but I do think it's very, very interesting. And I love the idea of building, uh, building a city underwater, building a, you know, building an entire operation down here. It's, it's very, very nice. And, you know, trying to, trying to keep people alive in the, in the depths of in the depths of the the underwater is is very very cool indeed uh, and there's a lot of there's a lot of other stuff to explore there's you know abyss farming is that crashed aircraft down there or something i don't know anyway uh there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff to explore in this game uh and i definitely want to keep uh, keep checking that but anyway thank you ever so much for watching folks check out the patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible um but for now and from me i'll see you next time bye